All right, everybody, it's Brian Bean, and welcome back to our 30 for 30 financial challenge where we're going to help 30 families achieve financial freedom or start the journey to financial freedom over the next 30 days. Now, this is a recap video in case you missed the first five. Let's talk about it real quick. Everybody in America should have two financial objectives. We know objective number one is that your current lifestyle should be paid for by your labor. You go to work every day to what? Pay the bills, pay the mortgage, get food on your belly, clothes on your back, take care of the children. That's why we go to work every day, but very few people are even thinking about objective number two, which is your future lifestyle. You see, you're supposed to work today so that you'll have some money tomorrow. But what happens when you don't want to work? In other words, one day you're not gonna wanna clock in, you're not gonna wanna answer to anyone, or someone will get tired of you clocking in, or someone will get tired of asking you questions. Either way, you may get a pink slip, give yourself a pink slip. The bottom line is when you stop working, your finances do not improve. So you need what? Investments. Write this down and never forget, something has to work, just not me. Something has to work, just not me. Now there are four things keeping you from getting to that financial freedom that you desire, where investments make more money for you than you make for the money, or than you work for money. And here's why. Number one was inflation, meaning the value of the dollar goes down every single day, why? because at any point in this country, business owners can increase their prices, which means your $20 bill, your 50, your 100, or not even your $1 bill is going as far as it used to. So that's called inflation. You have to put your money and time into things that outpace inflation. The best way to get wealthy in this country is to put your dollar in something and let inflation push it. And that's what we're gonna talk about in future videos. Number two was taxes right what about taxes well think about it property taxes state taxes local taxes federal taxes ad valorem taxes sales taxes about a third of your income disappears and goes to the government that means when you get paid the government will actually get paid first and then you get paid second so why don't you have enough money to invest again it's because a lot of it's going to uncle sam we talked about how to minimize your taxes challenge number three which is why your second goal is difficult to meet, is called debt. Debt is a curse. Remember, a sin is something that you do. A curse is something that's done to you. In other words, the debt that you can amass from credit cards, from student loans, from your mortgage, from your car notes, all that interest that you can amass actually could go to your second objective if you didn't have to borrow so much. But why do people borrow so much? Because of the taxes. And why are people struggling? Because of inflation. So your second goal will never get met when you hit inflation, taxes, and debt all in the same day at the same time. And we haven't even talked about challenge number four, big business. Always marketing, always running music, always running ads, always running commercials. They play on your fears. Everything from pharmaceuticals to technology will always have you spending money of some type. So that's what we've covered so far in these two to three minute educational videos in our 30 for 30 financial challenge. Now in future videos, we're gonna talk about solutions.